So it's about half past ten on Friday the 29th of September and we're all packed and just about to leave for another excursion to the Isle of Skye. Um, we went there last year a bit later in November and it was amazing. Um, we saw loads of birds, lots of eagles and just waders and all sorts of wonderful stuff. Um, it was pretty chilly. Um, <laughs> So this year we thought we would go back a little earlier, so we're going for the first two weeks of October. We're going to a place near Broadford, which is one of the first sort of towns you get to when you cross over onto the island. And Broadford is a really good central location for bird watching. Um, there's a bay there called Broadford Bay and there's lots of ducks and waders and stuff there. And it's got good access to like all the all the main roads, there's only a couple of main roads across the island and yeah so we're staying in Lower Brakish which is a little village a few miles from Broadford and we can't wait. We're going to stop on the way up in Glasgow just to break up the journey and yeah it's going to take us a couple of days to get there. So let's see what happens. It's about 11 o'clock at night on Friday and we're at Premier Inn somewhere in Glasgow. Tomorrow we have got less of a journey to do um, because we came all this way, uh, 10 hours or so of driving to get here. Yeah, I think we've only got about five hours tomorrow to get to Sky and it's a spectacular drive. I can't wait. It's my favourite bit of the journey, um, driving up into the Highlands past Loch Lomond and it just gets more and more majestic the further northwest you go. Hopefully we should get to Sky to Lower Brakish where we're staying about 3.34ish. Then things really begin. We have seen a few birds along the way, nothing um, unexpected yet, but a few for the list already. Uh, so yeah, we'll keep track. We're back on the road again. It's Saturday morning about 11 o'clock and we've just left Glasgow about an hour ago and thought we'd stop at Loch Lomond because we always drive past it and rarely stop to actually look at it. And it's a beautiful day, very still, a bit chilly. Um, there's some people swimming in the loch, <laughs> which for the beginning of October is a bit brave if you ask me. Yeah, we had an okay night at Premier in, in Glasgow. Um, Mum and Dad's room had a very, very noisy fan from the kitchen underneath, which was literally vibrating the entire room. Um, it did stop at about 10, but um, started at the beginning at half past six, which is not really what you want um, in a stopover um, hotel. But anyway, I'm going to stop at Fort William for lunch in a couple of hours um, and then carry on to Sky, which isn't that much further. So um, we'll be there soon. Can't wait. We've arrived at our house which is called Otterburn and is in Lower Brakish which is about five miles from the bridge onto Skye 
and it's a beautiful spot what you can see behind me is kind of our view from our living room and this is the cottage itself which is very lovely very very tidy and well designed so far and um, we're just going to have a little walk through this little gate which uh, leads down to the little burn at the bottom and you can apparently walk along to a beach which I've forgotten the name of um, but you'll no doubt hear it later in the vlog um, the tide is on its way in I think so we might not make it that far without getting into trouble <laughs> so we're just gonna have a little explore and see what is about It's Monday morning and it's our second full day here on Sky. Um, yesterday we just spent the day around Broadford, uh, went to co-op, super exciting. And then we went to Waterloo Road, which is just on the edge of Broadford, which is a really nice little walk along um, the side of the bay. Uh, lots of birds around, saw some um, rock pivots, which I love. And today we've decided to go to somewhere called Armadale Castle, which we didn't manage to visit last year because it was closed out of season. Um, but this year it's still open because we're a bit earlier. There's some gorgeous gardens. Uh, we saw an enormous fallen tree called Big Bertha that fell down in a storm a while ago. And now there's a whole like ecosystem growing off of Big Bertha. Lots of different types of trees growing from the old uh, bark and some fungus. And yeah, amazing specimen. <laughs> Um, we've now ventured into Rhododendron Garden, which has got lots of different plants from around the world. Um, we're heading up to the museum to see what we see there. standing outside the ruins of a laundry apparently which is closed for renovations at the moment um, it's all part of the Armadale estate which has been really interesting to explore uh, there's a big old castle which has mostly burned down I think in the last century um, having burned down several times before um, but the main structure of it's still standing you can go and walk around and have a look at the architecture and um, the gardens are really well kept still there's 
um, shrubs and trees from all around the world have been collected and some really really enormous fir trees which are stunning. There's a couple of lookout points which look out over the Sound of Slate um, where we've seen some gannets and a great black backed gull and yeah views across to the mainland. We stayed on the Slate Peninsula last year so it's really nice to kind of revisit it. We just got back from a brilliant morning in Broadford, our local town, which is a few miles away. Um, it has an excellent bay, which I've already mentioned in this vlog, which is great for birding. Um, we walked along one side of it. Uh, there was quite a few birds about, lots of water birds, um, some gulls and cormorants, and also two winter plumage black guillemots, which were quite a long way out, but I managed to get some photos to confirm that's what they were. Um, Dad was eyeing up a car that I think maybe he was thinking we could drive home and this afternoon we're going to try and walk along the sort of estuary slash burn, hence the name of the cottage Otterburn, um, just outside our back garden. Uh, you can walk along to Ashegg Beach um, which is probably about half a mile or a mile. Uh, we're just going to see how far we can get. The tide is out, we don't want to leave it too late because you can get cut off. So yeah, we'll see what's up there. So the weather forecast is a little bit changeable at the moment. Next couple of days look pretty grim rain-wise, but today is uh, a bit of everything. So while it's sunny, we've decided to take the opportunity and drive onto the Strathaird Peninsula, which is somewhere we visited last year. You can just drive along this long, long road to a village called Algol at the very end. Um, but there's plenty of places to stop off at along the way.
that was a lush afternoon driving along the Strathaird Peninsula. Beautiful scenery. Um, we didn't get all the way to the end. We only got about halfway, I think, because um, we stopped off a few times along the way, as you will have seen. And yeah, we had some amazing weather, mostly sun, but coming back there were um, beams of sun coming through the mountains and a couple of rainbows at different places, really spectacular. You can't really go wrong on the Strathair Peninsula. Um, it looks like for the next couple of days we've got torrential rain forecast, so we might not be leaving the house very much. Probably do a bit of music, maybe. I bought my laptop so I can do a bit of tune making. Um, Mum might do some painting, although she's been writing her book as well. Um, or writing one of her books, I should say, because she's got two on the go at the moment. Yeah, we'll just see what happens, but uh, it could be that we don't go out very much. So, yeah, we'll just hunker down and see what the weather does. <laughs> we'll be back soon.